What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on Lexa Lexus. Today we're going to go through my quarter final Euro 2024 score predictions. I'm really excited for the fact that there's only seven games left in the Euros. It has absolutely flown by. It is absolutely insane. After the Euros, I'm going to see if I can find some time to do some championship content. I have got exams coming up. But I will find a way around it. And I certainly want to talk about it. There's been kits released. There's been interesting transfers in the championship. And I want to preview each side before the season commences. And honestly, I'm, I'm really, really intrigued by it. Premier League is looking great as well. So there's so many things I want to cover. But I'm going to have to cover one big at a time first just to manage my workload as well. But we're going to today go through my quarter final Euro 2024 score predictions. As always, guys, make sure you leave your predictions in the comments down below if you guys want to be involved and i will always read them and to be fair i've seen some really really good predictions from a lot of you and some really interesting predictions too if you guys like what you see please smash the like button it really does help the growth of this channel please do hit that subscribe button and please also share the channel as well all of that really really helps but without any further ado let's start predicting my quarter final game so Spain and Germany we're gonna start with an absolute high and I'm sad that this is not the final these are the two best performing sides in the Euros in my opinion and both have shown very little weakness in their opening couple of games now I would say this team that has shown a little bit more fragility compared to the other I would say is Germany they did not win their group with maximum nine points they only won seven in the end and actually could have gone second in their group had they not got that last minute equaliser from Fruquik, I think is the one who scored it in the end. In terms of the round of 16 game for Germany, yes, it had its controversial moments. It was quite an unbelievable event from things that happen outside the stadium and then things happening inside the stadium. Denmark definitely gave them a couple of scares, but they coped with it really, really well. And Germany showed their experience to pull through and to win relatively comfortably in the end as well. Spain, on the other hand, have shown very little weakness. They've only conceded one goal so far in this tournament, which is insane. It's a known goal as well, so it's not utterly just from a player just getting past their defence. It's come from a deflection. So they won their three group stage games, nine points out of nine. They beat Georgia by four goals to one. Now, Georgia showed a slight glimpse that Spain could be susceptible to conceding chances on the counter-attack. Germany undoubtedly have got players who can do that and they've got really really quick players so this for me will be Spain's biggest test but at the same time Spain have already had Italy to contend with but arguably a really underperforming Italy and they've also had the likes of Albania, Croatia and they've recently of course just had Georgia so my only concern with Spain is that maybe whilst the teams looked quite tough on paper maybe they have not been properly challenged and this would be an unbelievable challenge and Germany has certainly faced their challenges as well since I deem Switzerland to be a very very strong side prediction oh my gosh so I think it's going to be a draw it's going to be so close I wouldn't be surprised if it ends 1-1 at uh, 90 minutes and I'm going to go 2-2 uh, after extra time and for the team to go through on pens, it's tough. But I'm going to say with the fact that they're playing at their country, I actually think that might give them a bit of a 12th man effect for Germany. And I'm going to say that it's Germany that go through after the game ending after 120 minutes 2-2 with them going through on penalties. It'll be brutal for Spain to get knocked out in this way. But Spain have been in those sorts of situations before where they couldn't get the winner. They couldn't get ahead. And penalty shootouts will ultimately be their downfall. Germany will absolutely take this. And they will win a trip to either France or Portugal for their opponents in the semi-finals. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Speaking of France or Portugal, this is the next game we've got to predict here. France have really struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. Quite substantially, actually. Um, I was quite surprised. Considering the attacking talent that they got, they really, really struggled. But they got the job done against Belgium. Again, likewise with Denmark for Germany. Belgium gave them a couple of scares where if they were just a little bit more clinical, it definitely would have been a very, very interesting situation for France to deal with. But likewise with Spain, France have only conceded one goal, which has been that penalty 
that Robert Lewandowski scored for Poland. France ended their group on seven points. Portugal only ended it on six. Of course, they lost to Georgia in their group game. And actually, I would dare say in their last two performances, I don't think Portugal have been particularly impressive. They did obviously go through against Slovenia and they had so many chances to put the game to bed, but they just couldn't do it. As Slovenia themselves, they had a huge opportunity with Sesco in, um, after extra time for them to really put Portugal in trouble. But ultimately, you do need a little bit of luck to go your side and... Fair play to Portugal. It's a repeat of the Euro 2016 final where it was Portugal that got the victory over France. But here, however, I think it'll be a really low scoring game. And I'm going to say France are going to win by one goal to nil. I really don't think there'll be much within it. But personally, I think it's going to be France that slightly edge out just with the options that they can get. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next is England and Switzerland. Very different round of 16 performances from both these sides. Let's start off with England because there's a lot to say about their performance. It really wasn't great at all, let's be real. And I don't think England have played well for really like any period at all in this um, Euros, which is me being quite brutal here. But they scored... A couple of the goals, but nowhere near the amount that they probably were expecting considering the teams that got in their group and obviously with them having Slovakia in the round of 16 as well. But ultimately, they relied on a last minute bit of brilliance from Duke Bellingham to take it to extra time. They were seconds away, England, for getting knocked out of their Euros and it would have been a real sour end for Southgate. So, very, very lucky man. And the good thing for that now is that Sasuke can look at that performance and think maybe he needs to change some things. And from what we've heard, he's thinking of a back five, which I'm a bit mixed with because ultimately we are struggling for goals. But actually, I do think a change in the system might just be what we need just to get some players to be playing in their more preferred position if it is going to be the rumoured um, lineup that they are um, promoting at the moment. Switzerland have been so impressive. They beat Hungary convincingly. They didn't quite beat Scotland. It was a draw in the end, but it really could have gone either way. It was quite close. And then they took Germany, um, their home nation, to a draw and actually could have won their group had they not conceded that equalizer. In the round of 16 against Italy, I thought that could have been a really interesting challenge, but actually Switzerland dealt with them really, really well. And I know it's probably more or less Italy being very poor, but Switzerland did a stellar job keeping them quiet for most of the game. Yes, they did concede a couple of chances, but in the end, defensively, they didn't really look too scared. And ultimately, that's why I think with this game against England, I think it's going to be very cagey. I don't think we'll see many goals. Switzerland, I think, could potentially be the side that creates more chances. England, I think, will have more of a possession, but ultimately, it's the frequency of the chances. And the quality of them and personally for me i'm going to be a pessimist here but based on the performances of both these sides i could see switzerland snatching a one nil away victory back five might prevent um england conceding a goal but even just in that slovakia game there were some real gaping holes in that back line which i was really surprised that the other three teams in the group stage uh, for england didn't really exploit whatsoever they looked quite ordinarily bad and mediocre against Slovakia and if they do churn in that similar performance here then ultimately Switzerland will rip them apart but I think it's going to be a very cagey 1-0 win to the Swiss let me know what you think in the comments down below the final game to predict is Netherlands versus Turkey who saw Turkey making it to the quarterfinals I know I didn't but they have done so so well and I think even in the round of 16 game against Austria, I think based on the fact that Austria beat Netherlands not so long ago, I think they would have backed Austria to do something against Turkey. But the football Turkey were playing at times, considering they did not have their full squad, is sensational. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how many players are available because there were so many yellow cards dished out to Turkey in that Czech Republic game. And then ultimately, if any picked up a yellow card um, in that last game um, that they had against Austria they would have had the risk of not being available for the quarterfinal game. Now, Netherlands, I think, have been a bit of touch and go with their form. But obviously, they were one of the sides that finished third. And actually, if I'm right in saying, they're the only side who finished third in their group that has actually made it to the quarterfinals. 
So I do think their form's been a bit up and down. You know, a couple of good results with a draw and then a defeat in the group stage, really. Quite an average group stage there. Then round of 16, they were very comfortable against Romania. They did themselves proud. They really showed that attacking potential that I thought Netherlands did have and didn't really show it to the full extent, especially against France, which I think they really could have tried to um, create something there. As a prediction, I honestly think Netherlands will be the very strong favourites here. I don't want to write Turkey off because it's a fantastic story for them. But I do think their goal scorer um, did a celebration which has got him banned for this game. And ultimately, I still think there's going to be some suspensions going through the squad. And I think Netherlands, with close to their full squad, I think will be too much for them. So as a prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Netherlands. I think it's going to be still very, very close. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to the Dutch. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So guys, just like that, all my predictions are done. It's nice to get a nice quick video these days. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash the like button, it really does help. Please do hit the subscribe button too. And please also share the channel as well. It really, really helps as well. I'm going to see if I can stream England, Switzerland. Now, I am a very superstitious guy. So I feel like if I do stream it, I probably will be the bad luck curse that sends England home. So don't at me. I don't, I, I don't, you know, I feel like I need to stream at least one Euros game. I might try a test run maybe against either one of the sides playing today if i have time which is not meant a lot really so we'll see what we can do but oh my gosh it's getting to the crunch time now so the games are really ramping up in intensity and the stakes are just ever so higher if you guys enjoyed these years let me know if your thoughts of the years as well in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching you guys are legendary for sony in this video and as always i'll see you guys soon take care everyone